Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog. We're at home for this one, we're off to the Wham Stadium as the Reds take on Harrogate. Right, so I'd like to start this match day vlog by first of all saying um, how absolutely fantastic it is to have Harrogate in the Football League. It's another team that's of um, similar size to ourselves and it's always nice to see um, the sort of smaller teams doing really, really well for themselves. And um, this is a little bit off topic, but a little bit relevant. I used to go on holiday to Yorkshire a lot when I was younger, and we'd always go through Harrogate, and we'd always go past the football stadium, and I always remember thinking, what if one day Harrogate get into the Football League and they play us, they play Stanley, and now it's happened. And um, they have been in the Football League for a season already, I do know that. Um but um, it, it's fantastic t uh, to be playing Harrogate. But that being said, I do hope we get three points today. And um, I am really looking forward to Harrogate away. It's definitely up there for... Um, it's probably after Wrexham. It's probably the one I'm most looking forward to. It, it should be a really good away day. Um, the only thing I do know about Harrogate is... I think Luke Armstrong plays for you. I think he, I think he does. He's been around. He's been at a few clubs. I, I remember him being at Salford for a little bit. Um, I swear I saw something this morning though saying he were off to Stockport County, but I could be completely wrong about that. But it did look like him. But um, yeah, apart from Luke Armstrong, who um, came on loan to us in our first uh, season in League One, that's about all I know. Um, he was all right to be fair. I remember him being. Pretty decent. He just didn't get a right lot of game time. There was a lot of competition for um, us up front back in the day. It's been a long time since we've had genuine competition up front. So, um, without further ado, let's get to the Wham Stadium. Come on, you Reds! And we've just kicked off into the first half. Hopefully, we can get three points. Come on, the boys. Any complaints about that whatsoever to be honest. Free kick to the Reds. It is shooting distance, but I doubt he'll go for it, although there is a little bit of wind today. Oh! It's blazed over the bar. Bad ball, that to be fair. This looks dangerous for Marigat. Oh, great block from Wangelo. Great interception. Ooh. A lot better at set pieces this afternoon, a lot better. Keep them coming, Reds. Free kick for the Reds, half an hour gone. It's been a very quick half an hour. It's been a really good half. We've played actually pretty decent to be honest and I'm getting the feeling we might be able to have these it's McConville to take oh what a goal come on what a finish and he's straight to the away fans again what a free kick they are fuming What a free kick that is! Wow! Unbelievable! What a free kick! That was fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! What a goal that is! 42 minutes gone. Harrogate corner. They're going to look to equalise for the end of the half. Well done, Toby. A good move. What a save! What a save! Absolutely brilliant save there from Toby. Harrogate will be kicking themselves over that one. But what a fantastic save! We can't take anything away from that. Yes! And that's half time! Absolutely great performance that for a, a first half. Should maybe be two or three, but you'll have no complaints from me. 
we've just kicked off into the second half. Harrogate making three changes at half time. They've got to do something, you know. I think they know as well as we do that um, we could very well be 2 or 3 nil up. Although the scoreboard does say 0-0. I'm not sure why. And the score oh no, the scoreboard is on. <laughs> Though it is a little bit delayed, but Harrogate will be trying to go off to a really quick start and, and uh, try and find the equaliser. Could be going in the book here, Sean McConville, yep. And now we're into the game, we've been unbelievably flat. I don't know what's happened, to be honest. Harrogate have made four subs, we're going to get out fitness if we're not careful. We lost enough games last season because we didn't make any subs to complement another team making subs. Uh, with players starting to go down we keep oofing it over the top for absolutely no reason and I've, I can't explain that one it, it's just it's just what we do for some reason I don't know Best move we've done uh, this half. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they have gotten away with that bloody hell. Wow. Seb Quirk's been sent off, second yellow. Completely unnecessary foul. He's, he's, he's gone in for a foul late. Unnecessarily. And it's it's the stupid decisions we make that will cost us 81 minute. And we're down to 10 men, 1 nil up. And we're probably going to let it slip again at the last minute, just like we did on Tuesday. I hope this isn't going to become a regular thing for us, but at the same time I can see it happening. So um, I suppose stay tuned for Harrogate's equaliser because it's definitely coming right now actually. That's just gone in. <laughs> Fantastic that, brilliant. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. We make so many mistakes. Oh, oh you've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. There's about 10 minutes added on, so more than enough time for Harrogate to get the winner. I, I, I don't think we'll hang on, never mind score another goal and win it, but I don't know. feel very deflated to be honest. Come on! 
Man! I couldn't tell you how deep in extra time we are. There were nine allocated, but Sean McConville had to be stretched off right to the beginning. So, are we about five minutes behind, maybe? I'm impossible to tell. I hope he blows it after this goal kick, but I don't think that's going to happen. re-recording this outro about 10 times and um, I either go on for too long or uh, I try and keep it shorter but then I miss like a key element of the game to talk about so um, I'm just I'm just going to try and get everything in it in a um, okay amount of time hopefully um, we won 2-1 but um, I don't know there's a lot more to the game than what the stats will tell you because the stats will tell you we had loads of loads of uh, clear cut chances and we scored two goals but we didn't score f from open play and I think that's such a massive part of football to be able to do that um I don't want to sound too cynical in this outro because at the end of the day it's last minute limbs from a free kick and absolutely fantastic Absolutely fantastic to be a part of, absolutely fantastic to film. But I don't feel like it'd be me if I didn't say what's properly on my mind about the game and stuff. So, um, yeah, we need to talk about the passing because it was absolutely atrocious for, portion, for portions of the game. Um, I don't remember seeing Harrogate tackle any of our players but what I do distinctly remember is us constantly passing them the ball for no reason hoofing it up the pitch for no reason um, really frustrating to watch really frustrating but um, hopefully we can um, sort that out it wasn't as bad as Tuesday but it wasn't good um Substitutions is a thing we need to talk about because um, it did cost us today. They made four changes. They'd made four changes by the 60th minute. We'd not made one. They've effectively changed half of their um, half of their um, outfield players, and fitness is going to go against us in that situation, and it did. Um, I think it led to McConville being injured, just outstretching himself because he wasn't taken off. And he, at the age that he is, he's he's going to struggle. Uh, I think it's partially to blame for Seb Quirk being sent off. His first yellow card was absolutely just ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. I don't even know what happened. Harrogate fans went, Ugh, and then the referee went, right, okay. Yellow card. Um, yeah, nothing, no reason to be honest. There was no reason for um, Seamus Keneally's yellow card as well because he got cropped on the edge of the box 
the player's gone round holding his head and rolling over like he's been shot. And it's and obviously um, Seamus has taken exception to that, and he's been booked for it. So I don't know. Effectively, he's been cropped and then got booked for it. So a few ludicrous decisions. But um, back to substitutions. Seb Quirk isn't a proper fullback. He's sort of a utility player. He's willing to go anywhere on the pitch. He's more of a midfielder, to be honest, but he's willing to play anywhere because he's a great lad and he's got a lot of spirit to him, a lot of character. He'll play wherever. But he's not a proper fullback. So in a really high intensity game, which it was towards the end of that second half, his legs have gone, he's on a yellow card. It just it seems like the the typical thing to do to take him off and bring someone on just as a tactical sub so he doesn't get sent off that didn't happen i remember looking at seb thinking he's absolutely ran his legs out he needs to be taken off because he's on a yellow and then next thing i know he's late on a challenge and he's he's sent off because he wasn't taken off and tactically sooner before that happened um I feel like maybe the managerial, the manager and the staff and everything might have to take the rap for that one because um, I don't know. I just feel like everyone knew that that Seb was really struggling, and if you've got a player that's struggling on and on a yellow card, you just you, you take them off, don't you? But I don't know. Um, I've talked about the referee, which is a which was a massive part of the game. Uh, no idea what they're playing at. They're poor at the best of times, but this season, I don't know. The power's just gone straight to the Reds this season. Um, what else can I talk about? Or have I, I basically covered everything? I think I might have done. So um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you're new. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be the game next Saturday so it might just be the next home game but um, I'll see you guys definitely at the next home game I'll see you guys then goodbye